skill levels. They have been represented differently in many video games. A common skill model is that when your character levels up, you get a skill point, which can then be invested into any skill type you want. Another form is that you do a specific task to level up a specific skill. This is seen in the MMORPG Skyblock, which is my favorite game. There is just one problem though. In most cases, there is a limit on skills. Once you hit a certain level, there is no going further. No more new perks. No more stats. Go level up another skill instead, loser. But for most people, they simply do not stop. They go above and beyond on skills. So who are these people who simply enjoy skill grinding too much to quit? Today, we will take a look at the barely mentioned people who go beyond level 50 skills. Carpentry. The act of crafting items. The more resource intensive the craft, the more carpentry experience you get. Carpentry levels give you access to craft cosmetic items. TLDR. Nothing useful at all. So why do people go for carpentry experience? The answer is I do not know. I guess we will never know. The preferred method of achieving carpentry is to craft tier 12 perfect armor chest plates. Which explains this. Then you just repeat these steps infinitely. This is basically what a guy called Kafir101 Awesome did. You have probably heard of him. A lot. Obtaining nearly 500 million carpentry experience from crafting perfect armor sets and infiltrating trading channels. Unfortunately, he has been banned for reasons related to his advertising script and game. Unfortunately as well, his relentless advertising does not cut it for the number one carpentry spot. The user who goes by Trap Trap has 900 million carpentry experience. Who knows the ungodly amount of perfect armor sets he has crafted and what he did with them. Fishing. Due to its nature, almost nobody has a godly amount of experience past level 50. You cannot nuke your way past fishing 50. Auto fishing is as slow as normal fishing. Due to these reasons, you cannot really get anywhere with fishing. Combat. The process of causing an alive object to become dead. This theme is normalized in many skyblock aspects. Slayer. Gassed farming, before it was patched. Okay that is basically it. So when you do these for a prolonged period of time, you will obtain massive amounts of combat experience, even if you are already combat 50. This happened to the player Owo Panda. With over 1 million ghasts destroyed as well as 7 million Slayer experience. Amassing a total of 180 million combat experience. And now for the player with the most combat experience. HRZZZ. With 2.5 million ghasts obliterated. To put this into perspective, the population of Namibia the African country is 2.5 million. Now imagine they all turned into ghasts. Then HRZZ destroyed Namibia. And that's how he got 250 million combat experience. Farming. A relatively easy skill to level. All you need to do is build the farms and you're good to go. Then relax and watch Netflix while farming. However, some people enjoy this too much, and decide to continue farming past farming 50. Here is a quick rundown of the aforementioned type of people. Caper. And Queen Chrissy and just mining and techno blade alchemy the fastest skill to level in skyblock but also very expensive however it is faster and cheaper than enchanting so i guess it is an easier flex to obtain some people gain extremely high experience from being very active splashers some people just dump stacks of enchanted sugar cane on their brewing stands some dip their toes in the art of brewing potions. Some go all in. With multiple inventories of enchanted sugar cane purchased. Here is how much the top alchemy people sunk into alchemy. Cookie no rookie, with 160 million. 2NFG, with 190 million. 
menacing banana, with 200 million. Do you see where this is going? The top player is probably 220 million or something. Hard ZZ back at it again. With 850 million alchemy experience. Which costs almost 700 million coins. Rest in peace coins. Foraging. It sounds fun at first, but once you dive deeper, it is an absolute nightmare. You have to deal with angry people who got their trees stolen. And people who steal trees. Now take those two and deal with one of each every hour. Most people stop foraging after foraging 50, which is quite logical as foraging does not make that much money and foraging is very annoying. However, some people don't think that way. Who are these people? Let's take a look. Epoxade. With 60 million experience. Shift EXE. With a 9 digit number. And Forager Jade. With a number equivalent to 160 million experience. Which is around 300 hours of foraging. You would think that this is peak evolution. Who would ever forage for more than 300 hours? Is this a rhetorical question? No. The answer to that is I envy you. With over 230 million foraging XP. Whereas Forager Jade had moved on to other things, I envy you had stayed true to the trees. Rest in peace trees I guess. Mining. It is a pain to do it if you plan on staying as a legit player. But once you become a new car, everything is a breeze. Due to the design of the end and the developers somehow wanting to put multiple layers of end stone under the surface which makes everything easier for them, it is easy to get mining experience by hopping on impact client and moving around the end. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard. Here you have Polo Sax, member of Hong Kong Walking Ground Chicken. With over 130 million mining experience. As well as Dan Rax. With around 120 million mining XP. And there is a big gap between them and the other miners. I guess it is safe to say they are the superior mining people. Enchanting. One of the most ridiculous skills. Whereas all other skills seem practical, enchanting is smashing bottles on your feet and then putting enchantments on the book. The more you think about it, the more stupid this skill sounds. This is the worst skill I have ever heard of. You purposely lose almost a hundred million coins in 25 hours so you can get more experience orbs. And at the end, what are you even going to do with those extra experience orbs? But that is not what some people think. Cool C1. A future candidate for a 50 skill average person. But also the number one enchanting person I guess. With over 80 million enchanting experience. And over 100 million coins lost on purpose. Good job, Cool C1. Well played. Rune crafting. You would think that rune crafting experience comes from fusing runes, but you are incorrect. They mostly come from killing dragons and in stone protectors. This probably makes no sense, because dragons drop swords and armor, while in stone protectors drop in stone and golem pets. None of these things have anything to do with runes. But okay Hypixel. Therefore, the people who have done the most dragons and in stone protectors shall be on top instead of people who actual fuse runes. And who are these people? Shadow Swayze. Owner of Lost in Space. Bad Senator and especially Echo's high definition. Which is pretty awesome I guess. And there you have it. The top players for each specific skill. It takes massive dedication to do the same thing over and over again, knowing that it won't really benefit you in the future. I wanted to cover this topic because almost nobody mentions them. Now that they have been mentioned, it is time to end this video. And now for a word from our sponsor. Do you dislike wasting money unlike these clown losers? Well you are in for a treat. I go by lots of names. 
I swear to God if you say bald splashes one more time. No. Today we won't be talking about joining bald splashes. Bald splashes. We'll join you. Wait. No. What the f- Join bald splashes. Pay 1.5 million coins every week for over 200 splashes every week. Or 12.5 every month for over 400 splashes per week. And a custom voice channel. No. This is not happening again. That's it boys. We will take him to the Bald Splashes hater box. No. Not the Bald Splashes hater box. No oh 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 oh. You. What's popping my dude? 